hi all in this video we will be discussing about salesforce inspector uh, this is one of the extension provided by chrome which we can use while using uh, salesforce it uh, through which we can perform some of the uh, operations like uh, getting data from salesforce org importing data into a salesforce org down downloading the metadata of a salesforce org or uh, searching about the users different users and if you want to know uh, what fields we have on an object and uh, what the data type is what the relationships we have on an object so that all we can uh, see using this particular extension that is salesforce inspector so uh, first uh, how we can get to this extension is just search for chrome web store and then just go to chrome web store and look for salesforce inspector <clears throat> so this is the salesforce inspector which you have to just add as an extension and uh, then this salesforce extension will be available whenever you will open any salesforce org as you can see there is a button just click on that this is a salesforce inspector window then just click on uh, data export if you want to query any data in this case we are trying to get id from contact so as soon as you type contact it will showcase all the objects which are there in your in your org having a word contact so it will be easy just to select the contact and then to proceed further like just click on export you will get the result you can copy it in excel format you can copy it in you can copy it in csv format you can copy it in json format and just paste in the excel or uh, or the notepad or the uh, screen wherever you want that then if you want to search for any field which you want uh, data from then you can just type like account id you want then this there will be a suggestion to every keyword you enter there if i enter i then all the fields which start with i or which are having i will be there underneath if you want to see all the fields just click on this plus button you will see all the fields and you can select from them in in this way you can query this data if you want to save this query for future use then you can just click on plus and this will be in your saved queries in this query history you can get uh, roughly about 20 uh, 20 queries which you have recently uh, queried upon then you can check on this using use tooling api for some objects like uh, labels when we work on them <coughs> and if you want to include deleted and archived records then you have to click on this so that's all for this uh, data export part then we will see in data import as we all know in data import uh, as we have data import wizard in uh, salesforce which we use to import data in the same way uh, this is also a functionality given by salesforce inspector where you can import your data and uh, it is recommended to use csv files majorly when you are importing data into salesforce and uh, then you have to select the batch size the threads how many threads you want and then you can just run it so the insertion or deletion operation will take place accordingly <clears throat> if you want to update then you have to map id column as uh, as we are or aware like id will be mapped to the id in the file and accordingly the record will get updated moving ahead we have we have org limits so we can check how many calls or how many asynchronous apex has run in this org so you can get all the details about that in this particular screen or dashboard then if you want to download metadata of the org then you have to just click on this and you have to select what all objects you want in that particular metadata file and just click on download metadata your metadata will be downloaded if you remove all and i will select only layouts and will download that metadata 
you can select all if you want but it will take time so that's why i've taken only one i will save this <coughs> just open this so these are all the layouts and there is a package package xml associated with it you can just open it and you will get to know all these things like what all layouts we have in this org okay so this was about downloading metadata then we can explore api oh and explore api raw json how it looks copying to excel for viewing the data for copying to <coughs> excel then again this is for viewing in a tabular format so uh, mostly we don't use this but uh, yeah it's an feature given by salesforce inspector uh, when you will uh, if you will go to salesforce home then it will redirect to you the to the same screen the home screen <coughs> so this is the home screen and now uh, as you can see when i click on this as we are not on any object that's why it is saying no records to display if i go to one of the record like this uh, if i go one on one on the record one of the record then uh, if i click on this it will showcase me like name is lead Le label is also lead and then id of that particular thing then i will click on show all data it will showcase all data of lead object then you can filter for fields if you want particularly fields then go to the fields thing and then you can get help text and description associated with that field if you want to check out the relations what all relations and lead have so you can go to contact we have this relation then if you go to accounts we don't have any relation on that in same manner <coughs> If you go on fields then you can check the size of the field uh, if it is uh, if the city is of string data type and the size is 14 may so you can enter a city name but the limit is 40 to that so in that way you don't have to go to object set object um, object manager and then go to lead and then check for this particular field you can just type here the city thing and you will get that string 40 so this will be more easy and in the same way if we go to any account <coughs> if you go on on one of the account and uh, if you go to this show all data if you go to relationships uh, then if you type contact so the relationship name is contact the child object is contact and field is account id label is contacts so in this manner you can easily search for any for the relationship which we uh, which a salesforce has to particular object and if you are not aware like which a uh, relationship or if it if there is any relationship between that object or uh, between two objects then you can directly search for that particular object like opportunity so opportunity has a relationship then field name is this uh, account id <coughs> is the api name of that particular field okay so go to opportunity there will be an account id field so this is how it is related then we will move on to the users thing in the users you can click on details to get details about that particular user or you can type name if there is a user with that name you will see that but majorly if you will click on drop down arrow then there will be uh, the list of users which you have in your org and you can uh, you can redirect to any one of the user by clicking on that particular name so in this manner you can work on that particular user in uh, for example i will click on details and i will see all the details of this particular user and if i want to edit anything on this user we uh, i can edit and i can edit that and can save this so in this way we can use salesforce inspector and this is the extension as you can see okay thank you have a nice day